Hey, what's up, BFL fam? I'm Carlos, and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today, I'll be talking about a fragrance from Creed called Tabaron. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Thanks so much for tuning in today. As always, I really do appreciate it, and I hope this video finds you all safe and healthy. Creed, it's a house that many of us frag heads enjoy. Well, most of us anyway. I know I like quite a few, but there are only a handful that are talked about more than others. Aventus, sometimes Aventus Cologne, Green Irish Tweed, Melissa May Imperial. What else? Original Santal, Original Vetiver. But the one I'm talking about today is called Tabarone. This one was released in 2000 and it's 20 years old. I had tried it at Steven's house. He had a bottle which he didn't seem to ever review or talk about for whatever reason. I put it on myself and I was like, Steven, can I borrow this bottle? I really like it a lot. I never got around to doing this review. I said, you know what? I really do like this fragrance. I'm gonna get my own bottle. So I got one from Max Aroma. They sent it to me, they were very kind. But as always, all opinions are my own. I chose this bottle. Tabadome is classified as an aromatic fougere. It was released in 2000, as I said. The notes were are bergamot, tangerine, ginger, sandalwood, patchouli, ambergris, tobacco, and leather. This retails for around $400, but you can pick it up at Max Aroma for $205. They're currently running a promotion for 15% off of Creed products. I will leave the code for that down underneath in the description box under the video. So this right here is fresh opening like most Creed's are. It's not a very bright citrus. It's kind of spicy because of the ginger. It has a nice snap. I do like when fragrances have that ginger snap. I really do enjoy that. You've probably heard me say that in the past about other fragrances that had ginger, but this one has ginger. Tangerine, ginger, bergamot. As it starts to dry down, you get a little tobacco. It's not a heavy-handed tobacco. It's not a noxtos. It's not a anything else that might have a very pronounced tobacco note. It's more in the background. And then it's patchouli and a little bit of leather and a woody dry down. Now, it's not a very, very potent fragrance. It's more of a Fragrance with character that you can wear in the warmer months and not just be wearing a boring citrus. I think this will appeal to people who like Bois de Portugal. I don't think this is for the younger guys. This might be for maybe 30s and up, but you never know. I get about four hours on my skin and projection is good for the first hour, hour and a half, and then it's closer to the skin, but it's a good one. I did wear mine to work and a young man actually one of the cashiers he said mm, i really like that one so it got a compliment from a guy i'm not sure why this was not talked about more but i think it's a good one and once check out even if you don't wind up loving it it's a good one from the brand and it's been around for 20 years so i guess some people must like it because they haven't discontinued it and there you have it my thoughts on tabadome from creed short and sweet like i always do i do hope you enjoy I'd love to offer a 10 mil can to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, like this video, then leave one comment down below with what you enjoyed most about this video today. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you haven't a subscriber, click on the bell icon to miss notifications on your reviews, the content giveaways, and all the fragrance fun always happening right here at BFL. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll see you guys at the next video.